Hello YouTube, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will continue watching today's video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. Let's get ready for the holidays, for real. Let's get ready for Christmas. Let's get ready for any celebratory occasions, holidays, whatever you wanna call it. Tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season to give. Tis the season to receive. And I am ready to prepare you all for everything that you're going to need so that you're not running out at the last minute, picking up last minute anything. So I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to get started because I have the top 10 items and tips that you need to be ready for Christmas. And when I'm saying be ready, I'm saying do it now. Do it now. The things that you need to get now. First up, decorations. I'm talking garland. I'm talking bulbs. I'm talking snow globes. I'm talking anything that you want to have that's a decoration. You need to get these things now before they sell out. What color scheme are you going with? Is it going to be red? Is it going to be green? Is it going to be gold? Whatever it is, you need to do it now if you want to pick up stockings to hang by your fireplace. Now is the time. All of the things, the, the snow globes, the garland, everything. Now get your Christmas decorations, your holiday decorations, your tablescapes, your tablecloths, anything that you consider decor, decorations. Get it now. Do it now. That is number one. Number two, gift wrapping. Do not wait to buy all of the gifts and then go and decide what you're going to need, what you're going to put it in. Get some wrapping paper, get some gift bags, get some gift boxes, get some ribbons, get some bows, get the little name tags, get cards. All of the things that you know that you're going to need to wrap or prepare these gifts to be given. Get it now. Don't wait for the last minute. I'm telling you, that's tip number two, get it now. And another one of my kind of tip 2A sort of thing is I tend to wrap each person's gift in a specific wrapping paper so that I know what gift is specifically for whom. So typically someone will get some sort of a sports wrapping paper. Someone else may get something green or pink. I wrap everyone's gift according to the wrapping paper. That's just how I do it. And that's my Tip 2A. Tip 3, you know I had to bring some style, some clothing, and some fashion into there. What are you going to wear? Get your tip. Get Oh my goodness. Get Third tip is to get your holiday outfits ready. Yes, I'm wearing one of mine currently. I'll show it a little bit later. But yeah, you, you know that you already know that there is going to be some place that you're going to need to go. Wherever that may be, it may be an office party, it may be a cousin's party, family member, whoever, whatever it is, including your ugly Christmas sweaters. I personally do not wear them, but if this is something that you do, don't wait till the last minute, get it now. Consider where you're going, what you're doing, who you're going to be visiting, what you may need to wear, what you may want to wear. Think about it now, but don't think too long. Go and get them, order them. Get your holiday look in order, for real. It needs to happen. I also wanna include in holiday outfits, this is important, right? You may not necessarily consider it an outfit, but we have to consider pajamas. Many of us on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day just like to wear a nice pajama. Oftentimes, we often wanna coordinate our pajamas with other people in our lives, such as our spouse or our children or the entire family. Are you gonna wait until the last minute so that you find in your size, but then you don't find it in your children's size or your husband's size or your niece's size or your wife's size? Are you really gonna wait? Don't wait, get the pajamas, get anything, the loungewear, whatever it is that you want to wear to look beautiful and comfortable and ravishing for the holidays, get it now. In keeping with the outfits, I have to stay with the outfits for just one more tip or one more strategy, one more suggestion. Anyway, for number four, 
If you are planning to have a professional photo taken of you or your family for the holidays, book it now. Photographers fill up. You need to do it now. Even if you're going to take your own photos with your, your, you know, your camera phone, whatever it is that you have, then you want to be able to figure out how you're going to place it, what you want to put it on, whether you make it into a holiday greeting card, a postcard or whatever, but it takes time. All of those backgrounds and everything take time. So do it now. That's tip number four, book your holiday photographer. Tip number five falls in line with one of my favorite gifts to give and also my favorite gifts to receive. Personalization. I love personalized gifts. I love a gift that either has my name on it, Koi, or a gift that has my initials. I love a gift. I gave my husband once a gift that had, um, it was a pillow. It is a pillow that have the lyrics on it from our wedding song, personal, personalized, but personalization, personalization takes time. So consider what personalized or engraved gifts that you want to give and order them now. Similarly, if you want something personalized, like a stocking to hang any place in your home or like a throw blanket for the holidays and you want that personalized, you want to do it now. So personalization is something that you need to do right now. I just looked down for a second because one of my favorite personalized gifts that I received was this book that was gifted to me by my influencer buddy, Angela Baltimore. And as you will see, she had uh, several pictures from my Instagram infused here onto the cover of the book and then for even more personalization down on the bottom it says Mrs. Coy style what I plan to see in 2021 because this is my agenda book for the year 2021. I'm certain that this was not created in just five minutes. I know that it took time it had to be ordered and so personalized gifts order them now that's tip number five. Tip number six, the people that you do not want to forget. Let's remember these people. I'm going to keep my glasses on because I'm reading down here on the paper, but I do not want you to forget teachers, male men and women, doormen, delivery drivers, school bus drivers, maintenance workers, our supervisors. We cannot forget to give these folks something. These are our service people that sort of take care of us regularly all of the time. So even if you're getting a money holder and giving cash, that's usually the preferred gift, get the money holders now. If you're giving a mug, you can maybe add some hot chocolate and some marshmallow packets or something to it. But do not forget these people. Arrange these gifts now so that you're not scrambling at the last minute to let these folks know how much you and your family appreciate them. So do not forget those people. Do not forget our service people. Okay, that was tip number six. Tip number seven, gift sets. Gift sets, gift sets, gift sets. I can't say it enough. Do you know that every year on Black Friday, everyone runs out to all of the department stores or they run online, whatever it is that anyone's doing now, and notoriously the best perfume sets, makeup sets, skincare sets, all of the sets, everything sells out immediately on that day because that's the day that everybody waits for to make these purchases. Let me just fill you in on, fill you all in on a little secret. These items do not go on sale anyway. When do you really see a sale on a perfume gift set if it's really a preferred perfume? It doesn't happen, so do not put it off. These gift sets are available now. Go and get your gift sets now. Not actually, get them right now. Get to ordering, think about your favorite items, whether it be La Mer skincare, Kiehl's skincare, maybe a makeup set from Chanel, YSL, 
whoever, wherever. They have all of these really cute stocking stuffers. They have these, um, you know, lipsticks that you can hang on the tree as an ornament. There are just a plethora of different novelty sort of holiday specific gifts and items that are available now for you to get now. So that is tip number seven, get your holiday gift sets now. And also when you're thinking about gift sets, do not forget the men. I'm not gonna delve too much into them because I'm gonna give a dedicated video to suggested gifts for men. But think about like, like the slipper and robe set or the sporting set, whether that includes like a mitt and a ball. I don't really know. I'll know by the time that video comes, but sets, think of sets on a broader scale, but get those gift sets now. That's tip number seven. I just glanced down at my notes and this is very important. I can't believe I forgot, I forgot to mention this. When you are considering these gift sets to give, do not forget that you can also gift yourself some of these gift sets because typically they are amazing prices, even though it's not on sale, but it's an opportunity to get a range of different things packaged already together. And that in and of itself is a savings. So it's all good. Look at them, the spreading the holiday cheer. So yeah, again, that's tip number seven. Tip number eight, and seriously, when I was writing this down, this took me back to my oldest memory of this particular situation. So tip number eight is to get your hands on the season's hottest toy. If you have a toy lover in your life, whether that be a child or an adult, many adults also like toys, you need to get the season's hottest toy now. Do any of you recall the Cabbage Patch dolls from back in the 80s? I clearly remember a conversation that my grandmother was having with my uncles. She didn't know that I was able to overhear, but I heard this conversation that she could not believe that the Cabbage Patch dolls had sold out and that myself and my cousin would end up being so disappointed when the holiday came because she waited to get the season's hottest gift or that year's hottest gift, which was the Cabbage Patch doll, until the last minute. So I actually never got my Cabbage Patch doll, but consider 40 years later, now it wouldn't be a problem, right? Do I want the doll? Not so much. But when I'm talking about the, se the season's hottest toys, let's think uh, game console systems, whatever the current PlayStation is, the Xbox is, if there's a new Game Boy, a DS, whatever it is, get it now. Don't think it's going to be at Walmart. Do not think you're going to be able to get it from Amazon. Get it now. The season's hottest toy. That's tip number eight. Number nine, this is a tip, okay? I'm going to suggest that you save your boxes. A lot of us are receiving deliveries all the time. As long as the box does not have any specific branding or logos or anything like that, you can peel off the address sticker and you can use it to send gifts to family members or people who you love who are out of state. Do not get rid of those boxes, push them off to the side, keep them aside so that when you're ready to ship out these gifts, you do not have to stand in line at the post office, UPS, FedEx, or wherever pay to order a box, then pack the box and do all of the things. You can have the box already packed from home. So save your boxes, but do it now because you want to ship those gifts out sooner than later. That's not something you want to put off into the last minute. Fun fact, coming closer so I can tell you. The post office is already backed up, so you do not want to wait. Save your boxes, start preparing your gifts so that they can be shipped to your loved ones. That is tip number nine. Was it tip number nine? Yep, tip number nine. Tip number 10, and perhaps this may be my favorite. I think for this one, I'm going to have to go and get the item so I can really show you all that I am serious about this in my Erica Badu voice. Let me get it, one second. Tip number 10, we all receive samples when we purchase things, when we purchase beauty products, when we purchase, I, I don't, almost anything, right, related to some of our, our women like beauty and skincare. So what I tend to do is I save all 
of my gifts with purchase, my gifted items, my sample size items, and I pass those on to my loved ones as stocking stuffers at during the holiday season. They're always so appreciative of them. It's always nice to just grab something from this box of goodies that I have. Look at this. I have a a Gucci perfume that someone may end up receiving in their stocking. I have all of these little carryalls, makeup cases that I could send or catch-alls, whatever it is that uh, whomever wants to be able to use it for. I have like a Peter Thomas Roth skincare that someone may receive. I have a some other skincare product. I took my glasses off and we all know that I cannot see without them. But every one of the women in my family just love coming by to see me walking away with a gift or having these things added as a stocking stuffer. So I'm going to say, take those things. I'm sure you have them somewhere. Let me know in the comments where you keep your little gifts with purchase, your sample size items. And do you use them or do you pass them on like what I'm saying? So that is my tip number 10 to use those little items, those, um, as I called them, what did I call them? Little goodies with purchases, gifts with purchase, and just pass those on as like um, stocking stuffers. So I'm going to link everything I can in the description box below. Please go on ahead and click on those links. And that's it. That concludes the top 10 things and tips that you need to follow right now to be ready for Christmas. Not now but right now. If there's anything that I left out, please comment. Let me know if there's if there's any ideas that I shared that you think are like, oh wow, Kiwana, I'm going to jump on that. Also, let me know that. And again, thank you so much for watching. And remember that everything I shared in this video and every one of my videos is me to a C. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.